What lies ahead in the distant future? This is perhaps the most intriguing question for humanity. We all wish we could peer just a few years into the future to see what our lives might become. But what if I invited you to journey not just a few years, but into a very, very distant future? Many videos on YouTube explore what might happen in 1,000 years, 100,000 years, or even a million years. But let's stretch our imagination further, much further, and visualize a future so far ahead that it boggles the mind. One billion years from now, the sun has become 10% brighter. The Earth's average surface temperature has soared to 47 degrees Celsius. The seas and oceans are gradually evaporating and the atmosphere is saturated with water vapor, creating an intense greenhouse effect. Earth is no longer the hospitable home it once was. 3 billion, 800 million years from now, the Andromeda galaxy, once 2.5 million light years away, has collided with the Milky Way. Hurtling through space at 400,000 kilometers per hour, Andromeda has finally reached us, and the two galaxies merge to form a colossal new galaxy, Milkomeda. Five billion years from now, in this new galaxy, our solar system is nearing its end. The sun is about to undergo its final transformation, expanding rapidly to 200 times its current size. All the planets and their moons have been consumed by the sun, which has become an enormous red giant, dominating the remnants of our solar system. 12 billion years from now, what remains of our once thriving solar system is a small, dense white dwarf. This star, once the sun, is slowly fading and cooling, eventually becoming a cold, inactive black dwarf, a mere shadow of its former self. The surrounding space is empty, and soon even this emptiness will vanish. 100 billion years from now, the Virgo supercluster, an enormous collection of galaxies spanning 200 million light years, begins to stabilize and merge into a single mega galaxy. This process is happening across the universe as other superclusters also converge. However, dark energy's accelerating effect slows this process, leaving vast cosmic voids between these superclusters. One trillion years from now marks the beginning of the end. Almost all galaxies have died and there are hardly any gas clouds left to form new stars. Dark energy continues to accelerate the universe's expansion, making it so vast that galaxies outside our local supercluster are no longer visible. If intelligent life still exists, they can no longer gather new information about the universe's large-scale structure. 20 trillion years from now, the universe has become a dark and desolate place. The last remaining stars, red dwarfs, have burned out, leaving only cold black dwarfs and the faint glow of radiation. Black holes, the last lords of the cosmos, drift through the darkness, consuming the remnants of what was once a vibrant universe. 100 trillion years from now, the universe's last normal star flickers out. All that remains are neutron stars, white, brown and black dwarfs and the eternal black holes. The universe has plunged into a deep, unending darkness. 10 to the 37th years from now, we enter the penultimate stage of existence. This epoch, defined by the decay of protons and the annihilation of particles, marks the final moments of the universe. All planets and celestial bodies have either disintegrated into elementary particles or been swallowed by black holes. The universe is on the brink of death. 10 to the 100th power years from now, the universe has expanded to incomprehensible distances. The last surviving black holes and subatomic particles are spread so far apart that language fails to capture the vastness. 
Finally, non-existence prevails. The end has come. Due to Hawking radiation, even the last black holes have evaporated. Nothing remains. And in this ultimate state, even nothingness ceases to exist.